Hello and welcome students. In this lesson, I'm going to give you an overview of the entire chapter 8 for Form 4 Circular Measure. I will explain to you the requirements and the four formulas that you need to know and understand in order for you to start doing the questions in this chapter. Okay, um, it's very, actually it's very short. There are only uh, a few things that you need to know from, uh, from this chapter, but the questions can be tough, yeah? can be challenging if you have tried the tough circular measure question that I've put in my website website here, um, you will realize that the questions can be quite challenging. But first, first you must understand what uh, what is in this chapter yeah, and the uh, uh, basic requirements that you need to know before you can start answering the question. So um, this is what the video will do, all right? Okay, the first thing is this. Um, circular measure has to do with circles, <laughs> obviously, right? Okay, so this is a sector and uh, some terms that you need to understand this angle is normally referred to as theta and the radius is r all right and uh, the first thing that you need to know uh, in this chapter the first thing you need to know is this theta which is at the angle will be measured can be measured in degree which is what you have learned so far right the, uh, the angle is 20 degree 35 45 degree however the theta can also be measured in this case yeah in this chapter is called radian it's just another way of measuring angles, okay? And it's uh, called radian. So the key is this, you must know how to convert from degree to radian and radian to degree. And how do you do that, yeah? So the first thing to remember is this, pi radian is equal to 180 degree. Pi radian means 3.142 or 22 over 7, nah? rad is equal to 180 degree. Okay, so that means, right, that means, right, 2 pi radian is equal to 360, lo, 2 times of 180, ma, so it's 360, alright, so if you were to convert, let's say I need to convert from rad to degree, right, what do you do if you need to convert from rad to degree, times with 180 over pi, yeah, that's from radian to degree. And if you need to convert from degree to radian, the other way around now, okay? From degree to radian. And what do you do? You will have to divide it instead, right? This is like, you know, you learn this in center 5, right? 1 kilogram is 1,000 gram. So from kilogram to gram, you times 1,000. From gram to kilogram, you divide with 1,000. It's the same concept, except that now it's just 180 over pi. So you divide. So if you divide, it will become the inverse. So times pi over 180. That's from degree to radian. So now this is something that is very, very crucial. And you need to be very clear um, and have a very clear understanding of this. Okay? Because all the formulas or a lot of the formulas in this chapter uses radian. Okay, that's the first thing. Okay, now we're going to move in to the formulas from this chapter yeah there are four formulas only two will be given in exam only two and i'm going to discuss the two so that you understand it perfectly the first is to find the arc the length of arc see this this is the arc right and the symbol of the arc is s yeah s or the length of the arc so the first formula says the length of the arc is equal to the radius times the theta but there is a condition and you must always remember this theta must be in radian in this case which means if you encounter a question that says okay let's say let's give you an example yeah let's say the radius is 7 and theta is now 45 degree find the length of the arc so what do you do you do s equals to r is 7 and if you put r, if you put theta as 45, it will be wrong because then you end up with hundreds of centimeters <laughs> in length of the arc, which is not possible, right? If the radius is only 7, how can just a small little arc be 300 over centimeters? That's not possible. So obviously, there's something wrong because theta must be in radian. So this is definitely wrong. So let's convert it to radian. 45 degrees is to be converted to radian. How do you convert degree to radian? times pi over 180 so you can actually straight away put it here 45 times pi over 180 and straight away you will get your answer 
Okay, so that's 5.498 centimeter. All right, or, or you just have to press this in your calculator and straight away get the answer. So this is how you use S equals to R theta, yeah? And theta must be in radian. That's all you have to take note of. That's for the length of arc. Yeah, the formula. Now, the next formula is this. Instead of asking you to find the length of the arc, you will be asked to find the area of the sector. See this, I'm shading this now. The area of the small little sector. You have learned this in Form 3. In fact, to find the length of arc, you have also learned it in Form 3. All right, you may also use the same formula. But however, um, the formula that is given to you in this chapter, um, it's better that you use this formula. And uh, in order to use it, you must know how to convert degree to radian. Okay, same thing goes for the second formula to find the area of the sector yeah to find the area of this sector formula is a equals to 1 over 2 r square theta okay and again theta must be in radian all right must be in radian okay and for the rest of the thing you just substitute in and immediately you will get the area of the shaded region the sector area of the sector according to the angle of the sector okay and these two formulas are given to you in exam so you don't have to worry it is the next two formulas that you will have to worry about because it is not given to you and they are the more complicated ones <laughs> all right i will discuss that in the next video yeah the part two of this video so you may go ahead and click on the part two video below